Back again at Wembley, this year, let's get it right. Is this the year we return to the top flight? One year on and Villa's day of destiny awaits. A return back to Wembley to seal the club's fate. Back to the Premier League promised land with a 2-1 win. Cheerio to the Championship, thanks to El Ghazi and John McGinn. Whelan, Hutton, Mele, Albert, they all depart. Championship stalwarts, but it's time for a fresh start. No more Tammy, who go on to play for his nation. But King Tyrone arrives permanently via Witten train station. Villa doing a Fulham as a multitude of players arrive. Tress, Heaton and Wesley, this club wants to push for more, not just survive. Suso scouts City to find a little known Brazilian called Louise. A nice player in La Liga, yes. This is the Premier League. Everyone gets things wrong. Away at Spurs and McGinn strikes first. Bang, it's an early lead. But three late goals, defeat, lessons to be learnt. Would we take heed? Friday night lights at Villa Park. Three points and we're off the mark. Shot it to Wesley, an all too rare moment of spark. Early form is patchy and luck seems to be lacking. Outrage at Selhurst Park. Kevin Friend, not our friend. A decision so bad, he deserves sacking. Thrown away at the Emirates to Unai Emery's struggling gunners. Got a feeling he may come up again, so why not stay with us? 5-1 at Norwich as Big Wesley scores three, but these goals were all too fleeting, especially for that fee. Super Jack had come alive, still here and still skipper, but Christmas came and things weren't exactly chipper. At the wrong end of the table and at Watford a new low, New Year's Day a win, Wesley and Heaton crocked, huge blow. Whilst the league had been a struggle, the Carabao Cup we were cooking, Trezeguet at the back post in the semi, another Wembley booking. Premier League legend Rain assigned and a striker called Samata, but league losses followed and a lot of manager change chatter. Most still love Dino and we headed off to good old Wembley, head back empty handed. Will we ever win? A bloody trophy. Heavy loss at Leicester, Pepe Reina on walkabout, pandemic hits, world changes, it's Premier League wipeout. Months with no football, no trips to Villa Park, many struggled, lockdown and things felt dark. Life had completely changed as Covid swept the nation. Points per game end the season now. This could result in relegation. It'd be remiss of me now not to mention villains lost. Restrictions came and some were dealt with the biggest cost. Family friends we stood with, gone and we asked why. Let's pause, take a moment to remember those halt enders in the sky. Months and months passed by and football returned. Dino and the boys regrouped, how much had been learned. Smith used the break to improve and to learn. Bonds forged, tactics refined, straight away, it's our turn. Knees taken, powerful statement as football united. Huge game, huge moment, as Hawkeye left unsighted. Kneeling down in folklore, carries the ball over the line. Nil-nil, defensive improvement, but lacking that proper number nine. We were better, but were we good enough? No wins were coming. Draws keeping us alive as the season kept running. Four games left and we're seven points adrift. The Villa fan base was about to get a huge lift. Must win against Palace with Trezeguet at the double. Late goal, draw at Everton. We're in all kinds of trouble. Trezeguet again, beating Arsenal 1-0. Forget Mo Salah, he's turned into our own Egyptian hero. Last day at West Ham with our survival hopes on the line. Super Jack, our captain, step up for this is your time. One point enough as our number 10 blocks out the noise. Another year in the Premier League for our beloved Villa boys. Summer 2020 and Villa feel like they're on the up. New contract for Jack, delight, and photos with his pup. Future hero signed, Martinez, Watkins and Cash. Fans still not back though, which made this season quite trash. Superstar as Villa managed to win their first four. Martinez penalty save on his debut, something we'd see a lot more. A night for the ages as we beat Liverpool 7-2. Ollie Hattrick, Jack Double, McGinn Barkley. Shout out to the Avengers crew. We look like a top outfit, like we could push for the top six, but then Jack Grealish's shin gets up to its old tricks. Brilliant start negated and results take a drop. Barkley getting subbed, struggling for form, having a strop. Basis of a good team whilst El Ghazi keeps scoring, but not as good without Jack, which we couldn't be ignoring. Martinez pure quality and Ollie Watkins a transfer success. Grealish return, so do wins. He'd cost 100 million, not a penny less. 11th progress, but it feels like a missed chance. 2020-21 season, Jack Grealish's last dance. City offered 100 and the local hero said his goodbyes. Villa replaced one player with three, probably not wise. Ings, Bailey and Buendia to replace one of our best ever players. 
They'd not have good seasons, but this story has liars. We found it tough without Jack, and the team lost its way. We understood it, didn't want it, but Dino wouldn't star. Dino. We'd lost heroes who'd helped us return to where we wanted to be. Connor Harahan, James Chester, but we had a set-piece coach now. Hello, Austin McPhee. With Smith and Jack gone, it felt like the club had lost some of its heart. Could Perslow build it better? New manager, fresh start. Perslow wanted a name and settled on Stevie J. Results improved and he was given a transfer kitty. Names seemed to be everything and Gerard swooped for Coutinho. Would these big names help Villa's global brand grow? Performances and results were largely bad. The emergence of Ramsey was a plus. We kept being told, wait till the summer. Kamara signed with a minimum of fuss. Squad looked good and we entered the season with some anticipation. But Gerard wanted moments of magic not tactical creation. Gerard picked a fight with Mings and removed him as skipper. McGinn was struggling, named captain, stitched up like a kipper. Muddled messages, could Tyrone look him in the eye? Words like that, they were never gonna fly. Day one at Bournemouth, bullied and lacking spark. No player was thriving or leaving their mark. There were no moments of magic, they are footballers, not magicians. Perslow stuck by Gerard. he simply wouldn't listen. Loss after loss, as Villa sunk near the bottom, Defence was hopeless, couldn't score, things started to feel rotten. 3-0 down at Craven Cottage and the crowd fully turned. Perslow's Gerrard project had truly crashed and burned. Nasef had had enough and thank God he pulled the trigger. Gerrard never worked, he thought he was bigger. As soon as he left, won 4-0 under Cutler and Danks. Lost the next game by the same score, but they departed with thanks. For Villa had made a decision that would change our direction. One of our best ever decisions. I think I should mention. A tactician, a leader, someone with a point to prove, a trophy winning manager to get us back in our groove. Villa promised him the keys to the castle and complete control. He'd get whatever he wanted in this managerial role. A no excuse culture, excuses do not fly. Welcome to Villa Park, Mr Unai. A few days training brought instant improvement. United couldn't cope with our tempo or movement. First win at home against Manchester United since 1995. Emery's Villa played with passion, emotion and drive. Next week at Brighton, Villa win away at last. Unai Emery football, it's so far a blast. Then a World Cup break as some players head to Qatar. The Villa boys from Aston, we travel near and far. Emi Martinez returns with a winner's medal with Argentina. The world's number one. The best I've ever seen? Yeah. The rest of the players bar cash have been learning Emery's way. Second half of the season, let's see where we are in May. Emery's first defeat comes against Liverpool, but we go away to Spurs and win. When Deer and Dougie making the away end sing. Seven points from nine follows, Watkins winner at the Saints. Players kicking on, are European hopes faint? Ings departs and we've signed Moreno and Duran. McGinn back on form, he's now Unai Emery's man. Three defeats in a row elevates Emery's anger. Watkins keeps scoring though now, a proper goal hanger. What a goal scorer. The defeat at home to Arsenal seems to bring with it a change. The players want no more of Unai Emery's rage. Lessons are learned, hours of footage is viewed. Villa enter the next game in a positive mood. Five games scoring in a row for Ollie as Everton are dispatched. 1-0 at home to Palace, own goal, assist from Cash. A draw at West Ham and a win at home to the Cherries. Things feel like they are building, the halt end is merry. Watkins and McGinn score as Villa win away at Chelsea. Into the top half now and McGinn's was a worlder. Dirty Bertie's return from loan and comes on to score two winners. Emery getting the best out of even Gerrard's perceived sinners. Newcastle United next, it's the acid test. How's boys going well? One of the Premier League's best. We blow them away 3-0, one of the best displays I've ever seen. These boys are really something, a proper football team. 1-1 at Brentford, Fulham at home, Tyrone header. Unbeaten in 10, can it get any better? We lose at Wolves and we lose in Manchester, but the big one is Spurs. Can we win? You betcha. A big point at Anfield means Europe is in our hands. The players have been incredible, standing up to Emery's demands. Fitting we win, and Watkins' goal is the reason. Villa can now prepare for an all-too-rare European season. It cannot be overlooked what that group had achieved. Near the bottom in October, Emery made us all believe. Every single player improved, and a clear tactical style. Emery got these players going the extra mile. Summer 23, and it feels like a big one. Players are signed, but some academy players are gone. Tillemans, Pau and Diaby feel like statement signings, dreams of a brilliant season and top table dining. On the eve of the campaign, we are dealt a cruel blow. When Deer out for the season, wouldn't you just know? On the opening day, Mings is dealt the same cruel fate. Played well but lose 5-1. Defence looks a state. We got humbled but Sir Alex, at least he's impressed. With this manager and these players, there's no need to stay stressed. 
React with a 4 0 win at home to Everton under Dyche. Go to Hibs, score five, Watkins hat trick in Europe. Well, that feels nice. Diaby rips Burnley and a double from Cash into the Conference League group stages, trying to add to Emery's European stash. Heavy defeat at Anfield creates a little bit of tension. A win Durant goal of the season against Palace, he definitely deserves a mention. Defeat in Poland as our marvellous fans go on an adventure. Another win at Chelsea, a Watkins goal to treasure. Then out of the League Cup as ticket prices cause disgust. Brighton at home next, a win is a must. Villa and Riot, 6-1 against De Zerbe. We attacked so well and we defended superbly. Another Oli hat trick and a goal for a returning JJ. Villa Park is a fortress, another enjoyable day. McGinn heads home late for the winner against Zerinska. Pau Torres levels at Wolves and we should have had a penalty. 4-1 against West Ham as the home form kept churning. Same score against Altmar, I'm sure some Villa heads were burning. Win against Luton and a rare defeat against Forest. Another win against AZ on our Conference League forage. McGinn and his goggles celebrate victory against Fulham. Tottenham away, a tasty fixture. That's next to come. Level at half-time, Unai turns to Yuri on the bench. He passes to Watkins, stinks of an Oli winner. We're getting used to that stench. Legia, we win. Important point at Bournemouth's Vitality Stadium. Then a couple of huge games at the home of football in Brum. Pep's treble winners, they rolled into town. They only had two shots as we fizzed the ball around. We dominated the game against the best team in the country. Bailey's goal much deserved, albeit a little bit lucky. Leon's place in the side was now undisputed, a tricky few seasons where a future away was mooted. He savaged Pep's side, he'd run them ragged. A monumental win, treble winners savaged. If we could beat Arsenal at home, we'd be in the title conversation. Villa are on Sky Sports with the talk of the nation. McGinn scores early and we hold on for the victory. Feels like we can do anything under Unai Emre. Into the Conference League knockouts with a goal for Zaniolo. Watkins scorns his old team Brentford and a goal for Moreno. Three wins in a row and a chance to go top. You know how the script goes, got caught on the hop. Archer scores late, Sheffield United think it's a winner. Zaniolo equalises, at least we can enjoy our Christmas dinner. United on Boxing Day, I'm sick of that place. 2 nil up, defeat, feels like a huge waste. Dougie stays calm to beat Burnley at home. Injuries catching up, missing that Pau Torres Rome. A cash lash at Borough, still in the FA Cup hat. Two nil nils, one at Chelsea, replay. We didn't need that. Newcastle complete the double, but we respond at Bramall Lane. An easy 5 nil to ease the midweek pain. Still going well under Unai, but the stakes are getting higher. Huge game next, United. Top four could go to the wire. We battered the Red Devils, but contrived to get beat. Rio Ferdinand's tweet after added insult to defeat. Champions League football, the arrogance, he was sure they would feature. Would they last the course in the Champions League picture? Later that week, Kamara ruled out for the season, joining Brendia, Mings, Ramsey, Moreno, missing for ages for various reasons. Emery still strong with no excuses reeled off. Keeping up the momentum would still be very tough. Emery and the players, they harvest something special. If they're met with defeat, they very rarely dwell. No surprise, they react, went to Fulham and prospered. Time and time again, you see the environment that Unai has fostered. Six points from Forest at home and Luton away. Champions League qualification still the aim. Would we be there in May? Europe still active, nil-nil in Amsterdam. Tottenham next, turned into a complete sham. Two nil down and knackered, John McGinn saw red. Frustrated and angry, Meatball lost his head. It ended as 4-0, three game ban for John would be coming. 4-0 against Ajax, Euro Villa kept running. Zaniolo leveller at West Ham, heading into the international break. 2-0 home to Wolves, we made no mistakes. Players rested at City as we are soundly dispatched. 3-3 with Brentford, what a crazy, crazy match. Watkins killing the bees and a buzz around Rodgers. 2-1 at home to Lille, Europe still loves us. Then Spurs beaten at Newcastle, seems to turn the tables. We've beaten Arsenal once, but at that time we felt more stable. Oliver George Arthur Watkins sees Arsenal off with a dink. The Premier League's number one striker, I really do think. How Gerard used him, it became a mystery. Under Unai Emery, he'll go down in Villa history. Important win against Bournemouth, put us in the driving seat for fourth. Coefficient FC not being kind, so fifth not enough. Not enough for Unai Emery's strong Champions League ambition. 2-2 with Chelsea actually helped us on our Champions League mission. Blowing leads at home was becoming a pattern. Players running on empty after a season of passion. A season that yielded so many big games. A season that cemented so many Villa names. In between those games, Emmy Martinez conquered Lille. When taking pens against Emmy, time must stand still. Book twice, no red, but Martinez still the hero. It could only be him. I love him. Our weirder. Olympiacos do a number on us. First Euro defeat at home. Injuries mounting, players struggling. 
wouldn't you just know? Players giving it everything to get over the line, lost at Brighton, exit Europe, it just wasn't our time. So nearly back in the competition, we won in 82. Spurs stumbling like us, but that's nothing though. Win against Liverpool and we could make our return. 3-1 down, still a chance that we would crash and burn. Duran came on 3-3, we turned it around. Scenes in the halt end and throughout the whole ground. A point could be crucial with Spurs playing Man City. Anything but a win for Pep would be a huge pity. Spurs didn't know what they wanted and Ange blew his lid. We wanted fourth, more than they did. They toiled City conquered and they ended up beat. The fallen giants from Aston, truly back on their feet. The players, this manager and all of his staff. 18 months of effort, 18 months of graft. You represent my club and we couldn't be prouder. Next season we'll sing that little bit louder. So next season at Villa Park, I'll hear that Champions League music. Something I've always dreamed of. The journey was worth it. Five years on, the club and everything else has changed beyond all recognition. The manager of these players, they've completed the mission. Villa loves you more than you will know. You mean everything to me. So here's to you, Unai Emery. <laughs>